So now let's add uh, a favorite page first of all. So in my features home, I will add another feature that will be favorites. And the location of this will be in uh, inside features of favorite. And inside that we will have uh, obviously a folder called presentation. Later we might add blocks as here as well. Now let's add a favorite page. Now what should be there in the favorite page? Uh, obviously there will be, uh, let's just start with scaffold first of all. There will be a title at the, uh, uh, at the top and then there will be a list of favorite events at the bottom. So let's add uh, a tight, uh, a app bar. Okay. Uh, this app bar will have title. Let's say uh, it will be a text widget and then it will be favorites written there. So we have the app bar. I'm not refreshing the screen because this screen is not our initial screen and we will need to do a lot of stuff, but we will anyway see that screen in future. In future. So what should be there uh, at the bottom? Uh, in the body, let's add a centered text first of all. And uh, the styling, no needed. Uh, we will see later on. So this page is ready. After we create a page, what we generally do is we add it to the add auto route. So we'll do like this favorite page and then we will obviously generate this. So the page is ready. Auto route will be ready. Now what next? We would need to uh, add a bottom bar and we will be using one of the class from auto route itself, which will help us navigating through these tabs and uh, managing the routes at the same time. So let's do that. One thing we missed out was not having favorite page like this. We should be having another Dart file, uh, which will take us, uh, which, you know, which will, which will be uh, refactor to be in the favorites. Let me just refactor this. Uh, right click, factor, move file. And we would like to move it to favorite. Like we have uh, in the home, we have this home dot dot, right? Similarly, we will have favorite dot dot. And here, uh, this file will be exported from the presentation. And then there will be favorite page. In the app route as well, we want to uh, fetch it from here. Okay, so let's create another uh, page here, which will be just relying on top. It wouldn't have any folder, not required. So we will create a dot file, a home page. Uh, this home page will host the bottom bar and these two routes, the event list route and the favorite route. So let's say uh, home page and inside this auto tab uh, scaffold, auto tab scaffold. And it requires uh, two, uh, it requires routes. So what will be our route? Uh, first will be event route, event list route and uh, uh, favorite route. So you will have uh, two, uh, basically two uh, tabs at the bottom. One will be uh, uh, showing the event list page, which we see now, and other one will be showing the favorite. Okay. So this is done. Let's add. Okay, we will add const later. Now it also needs to have a bottom navigation builder. So this builder will take in. Uh, uh, a context and then it also gives us a tabs router okay so this tabs router will be useful to uh, navigate uh, or set a uh, active indicator on the tab okay so let's uh, what we can do is now i will show you a glimpse of uh, how you can do platform independent or platform dependent code let's say that adaptive layout which we see which we hear from uh, flutter team so adaptive layout means that if it's ios you should be seeing ios related uh, tab bars if it's android you should be seeing android related tab bars the native ones so what we can do is to fetch uh, what is the current platform that we are building on uh, let's do platform here and theme dot of context we'll get the platform from this place and if this platform is Android, 
then we will build something else if it's cupertino uh, or if it's ios we will build uh, cupertino uh, cupertino uh, tab bar okay so let's start with android first uh, for now for simplicity i will just do this i will uh, use bottom um, navigation bar so that we see something in action bottom navigation bar okay it needs items and we will uh, because we will need these items in uh, when we create cupertino items also so for that i will uh, just uh, have these items uh, defined here so that we can reuse them so let's them define here static const items and then um, have first item bottom navigation bar item the good thing is that both android and ios widgets for having bottom navigation bar adaptive bottom navigation use bottom navigation bar items only so for first thing we will have icons dot home uh, rounded uh, because that will be our you can say home page sort of thing and then uh, for the second item we will have a bookmark icon which we are using to denote uh, to say that it's a favorite icon a favorite uh, page so now we can say that these are my items so my items are ready so this home page now becomes your initial page right so first you have to declare here as this as your home initial page and remove the event page as your uh, initial page okay so we have this now um is the okay great also from this home we need we should be exporting home page also okay and in the auto route again we will be having this as an error great now we will run this build runner and this time we will run in a watch mode because we know we i want to have some more things here so we will see that uh, in a moment okay so let's run it and see uh, what's the output Great. so this error is because see now home page is accepting uh, is expecting two pages further two routes further uh, if you see in the home page it expects that these two routes are there right but what it looks uh, when when there are routes which are uh, not child of home page they are actually siblings of home page um, right so they need to be child of home page because they will be open from the home page so what you can do here is you can uh, provide some children to this home page and those children would be nothing but your event page because now home page host these two pages right so to accommodate that we need to have this this sort of thing uh, now what i will do i will just uh, rerun it i will save this file and uh, the watcher has rerun and now we will uh, re restart the application okay there is another error but this time it's different error item label not equal to null okay fair enough uh, in the home page uh, this items label cannot be uh, uh, empty label so for label we will be giving main here for the first uh, tab and for the second tab we will be giving favorite now we will reload this and now you can see two tabs clearly you can see two tabs here uh, favorite and main but what's happening uh, nothing is changing right so our structure is ready uh, i hope you have understood the way auto route is has to be refactored because see now the home page host event list page and the favorite page so you have to have two favorite two pages uh, two routes as a children of uh, your home page okay i can go back to event details page and i can come back all this navigation will be handled by uh, your auto route so that's not a problem that you have to think of let's go to home page again and let's uh, add some of the theming elements to uh, this uh, bottom navigation bar 
once we are done with this we will move to Copotino bar as well and we, I will also show you Android uh, um, device so that we will see how our overall app looks like in uh, Android device and we will see that there are two different bars uh, showing up for different platforms okay so uh, let's do one thing after this let's set current index so what will be our current index this tabs router uh, will he help us in giving us the current index so it will give us active index which we can use and in top in on on tap of any of uh, these tabs we can call uh, tabs router dot uh, set active index so this will be making call to and it will automatically understand that okay these are two tabs uh, which tabs which tab is clicked what is the index of that and it will set the index for you then uh, yeah let's run it and let's see whether it is uh, reflecting or not so when I click favorites I am navigated to favorites when I click on main I am navigated to main and this is super nice right super nice um uh, what next the color i want that it should be black uh, and it should be uh, black bold when uh, it is selected so what i can do is i can set selected item color and i will say colors dot black and for unselected item color item color i will say colors dot gray and i will rerun it and all the colors are changed so this is this is what i want this looks good I can also I think elevation can be set to zero uh, and you can see that it is now merged into the bottom bar but let's keep it uh, you know Android ish um, what's next uh, we want to use this platform which I talked uh, before so target platform equals Android Android then we want to have bottom navigation bar otherwise what is the component for having a Cupertino um, tab bar? So we have this Cupertino tab bar which we can use. You see it also requires items and what type of items? Uh, let's hover on this. It requires bottom navigation bar items. So this is a completely uh, same what material bottom bar requires, right? And yeah, let's run it. Uh, let's check it out how it looks like correct so now I am hot restarting the application and you will see there is a difference of how uh, this looks right uh, this is a different type of uh, this is Copotino themed uh, bottom bar which Android people might not be aware of or they might not use normally in their phones so but we can make it very much similar at least from the font color size uh, at, at least from the color of this active indicator and uh, unselected item we can change that and we can also add uh, the selections which we added here so same things current index and on tap can be easily copied and put here so this will again uh, work the same way I mean I can select favorites I can go back to main and this time you see it's not expanding when I select main it's not the text is not increasing size right so this is the behavior of Cupertino tab bar uh, we can also set active color which will be colors dot black and then we can say inactive color now this is the terminology uh, in Cupertino uh, theme itself so we have to follow that uh, in Android we have selected item but here we have active and inactive things so let's refresh this and you see this is a black color right now what about the font size font size is too sm small right I will wrap this Cupertino tab bar with Cupertino theme you can actually wrap any widget uh, with Cupertino theme and provide that theme uh, to that widget specifically. It's, it doesn't mean that you have to provide theme to your app only. You can actually wrap any widget in Cupertino theme and you can provide Cupertino theme data and it will be taken like say uh, tab label. So uh, which text style will be applicable to these bottom tabs? So looking at uh, text theme if I want to have text theme I will have Cupertino uh, text theme data here and there are um, many text styles here which is more close to what we are building is tab label text style so I will say I will use uh, a tab label text style and I will use theme dot of context 
dot poppins sorry dot text theme and i will say body small okay but i will also give it um, a weight because my android versions have little bit more boldness to these tabs so 600 and let's try to run this it will be font weight great now i will restart this application and we will see that this text is bold and it looks good good now comparable to you know what we have in android so we have maintained the symmetry in terms of both the platforms so this is my uh, a samsung device okay uh, as you can see this whole application which we have built on ios from day one uh, we can easily say that this is working in android as well right we go to favorites and it shows the same uh, output it looks pretty adaptive uh, because see we have different types of app bars now this is a cupotino app bar which behaves in a different way compared to uh, material app bar okay uh, just one thing to make changes here is going to favorite page the title has to be false so that it matches with the uh, at both the places right so yeah great so doing this it is on the left hand side and here as well so this app, app uh, builds very well on android as well uh, we can change uh, to tech and we can also search we go to this and we can scroll it it looks very nice the button is rightly uh, at the bottom which is perfect so yeah this is how it looks on android and now we can continue with um, having a real uh, favorites here by just marking the favorite from event detail